Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're all having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Competitive play is back, not only on the tabletop, as we've seen with the reintroduction of the Pro Tour. I have a video of that in depth, breaking down everything you'll need to know pinned in the comments below, as a lot of that is um, information you'll need to know to really understand what we're about to talk about in depth. Um, because we'll be referencing a lot of that structure uh, through today's video. However, you know, when you get done that, we're going to be right here waiting for you. Why don't you give a like on your way out, and we'll wait. However, for those of you who've seen that, let's move on. We can now enter, um, you know, a new competitive uh, structure, which is really nice, uh, leading into competitive tabletop play, and uh, new quarterly competitive uh, digital structure. Uh, I don't know really what to refer to it as, uh, but we've got a uh, prize pool, $200,000 up for grabs every four months within, you know, strictly digital play, no need uh, to go traveling to these different events. However, it will still potentially qualify you for the pro tour and those, you know, in-person events, which is really exciting. So a ton to talk about in today's video. Holy Toledo's. Let's get after it. All right, the Arena Premier Play 2022, ready to friggin' rip. So, you know, COVID kind of shut down the typical uh, paper play for, you know, basically two plus years. Everybody played online digitally. I think this was actually long-term great for Arena, attracting, you know, many new full-time players like myself. And uh, now that things are clearing up, they're bringing back that competitive uh, side of magic, which we all love and had recently lost and many were so upset about. Um, but it's better than really uh, one could have expected, I think. You know, first of all, very happy with these changes. I'm sure you can already tell my overall uh, tone here. But, um, you know, whether you're a digital player or, um, you know, kind of an in-person paper player, you should be pleased with these changes. And we... Got to see, like I mentioned earlier, all those changes to the paper formats and the competitive structure, how you advance uh, up that ladder to the World Championship eventually. Um, all in that other video pinned in the comments below. And today we'll get to review um, the digital path uh, to that World Championship, which is really exciting. And uh, the newly introduced Arena Championship, which is uh, very neat as well. And then like some changes to the Qualifier Weekend and new play in tokens that you will collect, uh, which is super exciting. So there's a lot of changes to go through and some new things as well, which is fairly exciting. So diving into it, right? Uh, Return of the Pro Tour, uh, check this out. Again, they're just referencing all the stuff that I already made that video on that's pinned for you if you've not seen it. This talks about the regional championships, um, which is really cool. And then those will get you in to uh, the set championships and eventually the world championship is really uh, quite fun as well. And then with Arena, we have the, uh, you know, it's it's unique um, way to progress and it's going to be the qualifier play-in and the qualifier weekend. And then eventually up top here, we'll see the Arena Championship, uh, which can gain you access directly to the World Championship, Holy Toledo's. And then you can gain access to the Pro Tour, which is, that's freaking Toledo's as well, uh, but just playing through the qualifier weekend here. So this is, very, very cool. This is big news. This is bigger news than I can actually make it. Um, this gives individuals who just love to play arena literally a chance to make this uh, potentially uh, a very nice side gig and uh, maybe even a career, which is super exciting. So welcome to the arena championship. Uh, each championship, 32 players determined by four months worth of competitive ladder and event play. More on these new events later. Uh, and they'll be competing for $200,000 uh, worth of prizes, which is very cool. Um, every four months, $200,000 strictly through digital play. I will absolutely allow it. That is very, very cool. So the arena championships will mark the pinnacle of competition within arena. Those players who will be competing uh, to go to the world championship through this way, right? Uh, if they perform well enough, which is super exciting. So each of the three winners and three runner ups of the championships will earn a seat 
to the uh, most prestigious event of the year, which again is that, that world championship, which is super exciting. So how do you claim your seat uh, at the arena championship through a familiar path, the qualifier weekend? So there's some changes here. Um, typically, the qualifier weekend was uh, accessible to uh, those who qualified by placing in the top 1,200. Uh, that has been changed. Now you can uh, enter it, which is super exciting, um, with gold, with gems, and with points. Um, so the qualifier weekends, uh, we kind of have the prize structure uh, down here if you want. To check that out you know you're gonna be winning some gems uh, for competing and then of course you know if you're trying to get uh entry into day two and then you know if you do well in the qualifier week in day two you're gonna get uh an invite to the pro tour once that is available uh which is super exciting and then of course the qualification to the arena championship which is uh fun as well so beginning in september uh they will feed into the pro tour um, until then, uh, they've kind of got their own thing going on, uh, just with the digital play, which is super exciting. Uh, again, 32 competitors, da, 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 da. Uh, the first one's going to take place on May 28th, May 29th, and then you can win some gems here, right? So, uh, where do you start and how do you get, uh, invited to this? I suppose the first new path to, uh, entry is called the qualifier play in event. Now these are, uh, the new events that are replacing the top 1200, uh, which you would typically qualify for. Um, so this is uh, a big change because you can play it multiple times. Whereas if you hit top 1200 before, it was, well, you can, you can enter if you lose your out, right? Um, but now you can uh, enter multiple times, which is super exciting, uh, whether through gold gems or 20 play points, uh, which we have here. Uh, single day best of one and then single day best of three the best of one will take place one week before the qualifier weekend the best of three will take place only one day before the qualifier weekend uh, and again you can enter fire enter the qualifier play in with 2000 or 20,000 gold 4,000 gems or 20 play in points from uh, different events, which we can talk about again in a second. So, you know, a good way to think of this is a play point is worth a thousand gold because you can just enter with gold or gems, right? So um, you can gain these play points for free, which is cool. And then you're not draining your gold to enter those events, or maybe you can kind of, uh, you know, get around that. So, you know, different player profiles here, these aren't really worth going through, but it's just uh, theoreticals of how you would progress, right? So. You know, Oko doesn't play that much arena. His favorite is Commander in person, but they enjoy drafting. So, you know, now they can do well in their drafts. They can earn these play-in points and then, you know, partake in a uh, qualifier play-in event that is limited of their strengths, doing well in that and then earning a seat to the championship just for a weekend's play of their favorite uh, format, which is pretty cool, right? Uh, doing stuff that they always do. And then, you know, the grinder, someone who's doing really well on the ladder each month. If you get the top 1,200, you no longer receive an invite to the event. However, you will gain 20 play-in points, which pays for the event, right? There's your entry. Um, better than before, in my opinion, because now you can re-enter that event if you don't get it before you had to, well, wait until next month, right? So that's pretty cool. There is some changes. Um top 1200 get points and now the top 250 will gain direct access to it right uh which is really cool um you know getting to skip i believe the play in event and going straight to the qualifier weekend uh which is really cool and again if we scroll up to the top you know here's the play in events down at the bottom so you're doing well in your events you're earning the play in points or you're spending your gold on the event you're doing this you're getting uh access to the qualifier weekend uh, and then you know hopefully doing well here uh, which is quite nice so it's really cool that the qualifier play in is repeatable um, allowing you to you know almost guarantee your spot in the qualifier weekend uh, which is nice so friendly changes the fact that you can uh, repeat entry to get that chance in is really really cool of course you know it's going to cost you but it's cool that you can spend these new play in points as well and then, you know, kind of concentrating 
the competition, if you will, because instead of being the top 1200, uh, now top 250. So it's going to be much more competitive and uh, fewer players will actually make that cut, which is exciting. So, you know, as a goal, still try to get top 250 and then you don't have to worry about the play in event, right? You can just skip right past that. Do well in the qualifier weekend. Moving on, um, you know, April's already underway. So everyone in the top 1200 this month uh, will still qualify directly for the weekends, which is super exciting. Uh, and then May will be the top 250 and then the top 1200 get those uh, 20 play points, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, and then finally, players who reach six, seven or eight match wins on day two of the Arena Open will also earn an entry to the qualifier weekend, right? The Arena Open is the, uh, you know, $2,500 uh, if you win, you know, it's a silly competitive event. So, you know, they can gain access as well, which is super exciting. Previously, it only applied to seven and eight wins. So, you know, that that sixth win and uh, sneak in there as well, which is really cool. Um, and then again, you know, admitting them to the June qualifier weekend, blah, 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 blah. Uh, another player profile uh, talking about someone who just does fairly well in ranked uh, and then earning uh, a way through and then, you know, doing so-so in the event, you know, still going to gain some gems and that's going to help go towards our collection and they can hopefully do better uh, or events it goes towards um, better next month. They can complete their collection stuff. So that's cool, right? So um, for a recap, basic steps uh, of the competitive path on arena ladder, obviously get top 250 guaranteed entry, get top 1200, get enough points to enter the events uh, underneath that top 250. Uh, and then the qualifier play in events, right? Easy peasy lemon squeezy, uh, the qualifier weekend events. So, you know, you can spend those play points on the qualifier weekend events, uh, get in on that. And then the arena championships um, as well which is cool. Uh, there's so much info. Of course, you know, I'm going to have this article linked if you guys want to go through it more in depth. We've got the cons uh, reworked constructed events and the reworked uh, limited events here because we're going to be uh, earning these play-in points through them, uh, which is cool. Uh, more incentive to play both the constructed and limited events to help grow your collection. The entry fee has been increased, but the reward structure has also been increased, uh, which is really nice. And again, you can earn these play in points just simply uh, by doing well. Um, four play in points, you know, if you get five wins in a constructed um, or traditional event, which is like really, really cool, right? You're getting the gold, you're getting the packs, you're getting your points, which again, basically convert into gold. So it's a nice way to incentivize people to grow their collections through the events while rewarding them. Well, I guess that is the incentive uh, to potentially play uh, in some of these competitions and then access to the competitive events at the very least, if they don't progress to the world championships, it's going to get them some more resources to help grow their collection even further. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then uh, again, with the traditional draft structure changing a little bit here as well, more expensive, but uh, you're going to get Actually, the un the, it's actually unchanged. Never mind. Sorry. So it's only the uh, constructed events that have become more expensive and the price structure has been increased. Uh, but the draft structure, uh, you know, does remain the same, apparently. Uh, just kind of reducing the top ends here for, uh, to make room for the play in points, right? So that's exciting. Again, you know, I'm sure my incoherent ramblings don't do any of this justice. I would uh, definitely read the article in depth through yourself if you're interested in it. Um, again, you know, to recap with the graphic, maybe uh, as benefit, 20,000 gold, 4,000 gems, 20 play points for the, um, you know, couple weekends a month qualifier play in events that will be there, right? Um, you know, also, The, um, you know, if you do well in this event, going to the qualifier and then also the top 250 of the month's rank uh, will get direct access to the qualifier weekend. Do well in here. You go to the pro tour, do well in here. You also gain access to the arena championship. And then, you know, you do well in the arena championship. You're going to the world championship, which is super exciting. Um, 
So there's a lot of info to digest here. I'm sure I've, I've missed many parts, but again, just looking to recap uh, for you guys uh, overall as to what has changed and what is going to uh, take place in the future and happen. So try to hit top 250, right? That is good. top 250 and then do well in the qualifier uh, weekend, right? That way you're not draining your resources, right? Um, again, try to farm the play points. It does incentivize people to play the constructed events. I think even myself will do much more of that. Uh, we do have as well a new format coming, which is super exciting. This is uh, supposed to be teased or released later. So um, more information coming out uh, later today or tomorrow, um, you know, in relation to arena and digital play uh, primarily, which is super exciting. So again, myself still digesting much of this, but from what I can see, this looks very, very friendly. Um, you know, I, the, the one downside I could see people trying to claim is that, oh, well, now top 1200 just gets me points. But those points would have been equal to your one entry of the event anyways. Plus, now, if you didn't make it and you still want to try again, you can spend resources to do so, uh, which is super exciting. So, you know, I think all around, um, nice changes, Wizards. You, you nailed it. I was a little bit salty. Um, when I was like, oh my God, you know, the pre-release event is a week before Arena comes out and that hurt. But then I got over it. And now yesterday we learned that there's going to be a pre-release within Arena. That is super freaking hype. We got an invite to that. It's on the 26th, which actually uh, aligns with my three-year anniversary on YouTube. Goodness gracious. So we're going to be having a party. And now we get... Digital competitive play, uh, which is insane. You know, $200,000 every four months is no joke. Literally no joke. Gaining a spot on the Pro Tour, no joke. And the World Championship, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Toledo's uh, incredible stuff, Magic. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it as someone who's, uh, you know, been after it a little, for a little bit here. So I couldn't be happier. Thank you all so much for the support. Again, we're going to have this linked for you in the description if you want to read through the article yourself. Uh, there's a, a Q&A as well. And we're just waiting for details on the new format. And again, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back, right, with the latest. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a YouTube member, and have a magical day. See you soon.